welcome to the Capital One Labor Day kickoff on ESPN. The Cameron Crazies leave the hardwood for the gridiron tonight for one of the biggest home football games in Duke history. The Blue Devils look to follow a nine-win season with a week one upset of ninth-ranked Clemson. Duke quarterback Riley Leonard, a potential dark horse for ACC Player of the Year and ACC Coach of the Year, Mike Elko, engineering one of the best turnarounds in college football last year. Bigger things are in store in 2023. Charlie Ham kicks it off. Shipley will let it go into the end zone for a touchback. First regular season start for Cade Klubnik. Now he played in a ton of games last year, 10, and played significant in this Clemson offense to run the ball a lot tonight. Here's Shipley, big hole between the tackles, gets the first down. He rushed for almost 1,200 yards last year, was second in the league with 15 touchdowns. They have a new left tackle at Clemson. Klubnik with time to throw, goes deep, and it's picked off at the 45-yard line, and the ball came out at the last second, and it's incomplete. Jeremiah Lewis unable to come up with the interception, but Duke does force a punt. Another pass play on second down and long. From the pocket, dumps it off to his tight end. Del Molin stiff-arming and out near midfield and gets the first down. Gain of 16 for Nicky Del Molin, who had 21 catches a year ago. And he's got some wiggle, can make you miss, as we saw on first down. They go empty again. Leonard going to throw this time, and it's caught inside the 30 by Higgins. And down to the 25-yard line for a gain of 18. The ball came out at the end, though. Let's see if Clemson recovered it. Yes, they did. It's Tigers football. Makuba is there for Clemson to come up with a fumble. Rolling on the field is a fumble recovered by Clemson. You see Jalen Calhoun, their number five, in blue pointing to the ground, saying that he thought Samir Hagens was down. Let's take a look. How can you tell That's from that be, angle? Yeah, it's going to be close. Good look here. All right, we'll step away. Hard to tell whether the ball came out before he was down. After the further review, the runner was down prior to the ball coming out. Leonard from the pocket, throws complete to Moore, inside the 10, and dragged down at the four-yard line by Jalen Phillips. Riley Leonard beat him out for the quarterback job last year. He moved to wide out. First and goal from inside the five. Waters trying to cut it back, runs into a wall of Clemson defenders led by Rook. Another Davis, Rook, a row, a row. Quality interior presence for the Tigers. Big play of this drive. Leonard to the end zone, and he overthrows his receiver, Jalen Calhoun. Clemson bringing pressure. Leonard fires end zone to the corner, and it's incomplete. Calhoun, the intended receiver. Andrew McCuba was in coverage, and Duke will send on the field goal. Todd Polino on for a 22-yard field goal try. And the Blue Devils are on the board first. So an overturn via replay gives Duke the ball back. The downfield, good find, easy pitch and catch for Kate Klubnik. Gonna run Shipley here. And he gets the first down out to the 39. Back all throughout the season for Garrett Riley. Moffa rushed for over 500 yards last year. Here's Shipley, he's got the edge at the 45. And out of bounds, he did get the first downs. And it's a design run here for Klubnik. Very good athlete like Riley Leonard. And it's close to a first down. Appears to have it at the 40-yard line. Klubnik had a couple of rushing touchdowns last year. Tyler Santucci is going to bring a little pressure, get that ball out fast. Showing pressure at the line of scrimmage. Klubnik in trouble. Gets rid of it. It's caught. And a good open field tackle on Maffa by Chandler Rivers. And so Clemson will have to send in the field goal team. E.T. Potter is gone. True freshman Robert Gunn the third with his first collegiate field goal attempt. And it's blocked. Duke special teams comes up big. Let's 
see if it was Jamie on Franklin. Played hoops in high school. Very young when it comes to being a quarterback, and they're going to run it here on third down and ten. But Jacquez Moore unable to break free. Brought down by R.J. Mickens and. short of the line to gain by about three yards. Ryan Smith on the takedown for Duke. And Clemson with a three and out. May early last year when the hype was just starting to begin for Drake May. Wasn't used to those kind of meetings, but both wonderful young men. Jalen Calhoun. And he's got a first down across the 45-yard line. Helping pave a path for a first down. Wide open out of the backfield is Moore inside the 30-yard line and knocked out of bounds. Jalen Phillips. You get corrected, but hey, got a long way to go. We just got to settle in and keep playing right now. We've got to get a stop right here. All right, thanks, Coach. Okay. All right, looks great defensive play that time by Sheridan Jones on the wide receiver screen and Jordan Moore. It's a loss of three, and so Duke will have to settle for another field. The field on third down. Todd Polino, good from 22 yards earlier. This is a 42-yard attempt. Looking to extend the lead. And it's perfect. Six-nothing Duke. College football playoff discussion. Two years at SMU prior to going to TCU and helping them reach the national title game last year. Shipley gets the first down. A nice way to get this offense going. Give it third and ten. Klubnik to throw. Only a four-man rush. Klubnik with a long pass, and it's dropped. Cole Turner could not bring it in. Would have been close to a first down. Instead, the Tigers will punt again. Clemson so far. Jalen Calhoun is deep. Swanson to punt. Takes a Tiger hop, and then a mistake that time trying to... Make the play, Calhoun muffed it. It's recovered by Clemson, by Wade Woodass. A huge momentum shift here as Clemson's going to have the ball inside the, the 20. Field, the ball was muffed, then recovered by Clemson. First down. Wait, massive. And it's the footing. Jalen Calhoun just loses his footing and completely bobbles that football. Excellent hustle down the field by Wade Woodass. Oh, man. Big mistake there by Mr. Reliable, Jalen Calhoun, and it's exactly what the Tigers needed. Good complete. And Klubnik going to keep it. He's got the first down. He dives past the five, down to the three-yard line. It'll be first and goal. Wasting no time, Kate Klubnik. It'll be Shipley, and... The ball came out, but they're going to rule Shipley down for second and goal on the Duke three. Trying to capitalize after the big mistake by Duke. Maffa dragged down at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a half yard. Clemson just one for five on third down so far. Klubnik with a great play fake. Dumps it off. Shipley in for the Clemson touchdown. Will Shipley, an excellent receiver out of the backfield, but he didn't have a touchdown catch despite 38 receptions a year ago. He has paidered here. The game is tied for now. Nice job selling the fake by Kate Klubnick. An easy pitch into the flats. And Will Shipley, power Clemson, getting six. Robert Gunn, who had a field goal attempt blocked earlier. His point after gives Clemson the lead. It was a phrase used to describe Mr. Woods, Tom. Won five state championships. They let him play varsity as an eighth grader. Helped him win a state title. Leonard leaving the pocket on third and ten. And he dives as what appears to be a first down at the 34-yard line. Stop. So third and seven from the 38-yard line. Leonard, his pass is caught, but excellent coverage. Hagan's caught it, but dropped immediately by Andrew Makuba. Here throughout this game. Clemson won the ACC last year. Missed out on the playoff, though, for the second straight year. Clemson's pass pulled in. First down at the 20-yard line. 
And it's Jake Brenningstool, the tight end, who's a big target. Oh, and they need to get the big guy involved. That's a mismatch downfield with his size. 6'6 six, six and long. His first target of the game. Out of the backfield, Maffa with some running room. And he's got the corner and drilled out of bounds. Big hit. Talent to do that, maybe more this year. But a tough game tonight to start the season at Duke. That pass caught. First down at the 45-yard line. Williams made the catch. Absorbed the hit from Chandler Rivers to move the sticks. Just a three minutes to work with. Free play. Klubnik after the offside. Looking downfield. And it's intercepted. Al Blades Jr. Again, probably coming back. Blades tackled at the 48-yard line. Klubnik probably doesn't throw that ball if there wasn't a penalty. Just throwing it up for grabs like that. Dwayne Carter appeared to jump first. Didn't happen to Duke a year ago. There are fouls by both teams on the play. Offside, defense. Doing the return after the interception. Personal foul, illegal blindside block. Team. The fouls were offset. Replay third down. 12, 13 yards. Dabble might go for it. Going to keep it on the ground. Shipley. And he gets about seven yards, so Clemson will punt the ball. Let's see if Duke uses another timeout. Need the clock stop always on first downs, but they changed that rule this year. Outside two minutes. Wide open. Jordan Waters. Nobody there for Clemson. He breaks the tackle and runs out of bounds. At the 47, he picked up 25 yards. Timeouts. Duke going to hold on to him. Leonard. Sidearms it complete. Now the clock will stop to reset the chains. Hagan's on the grab inside the 40-yard line. Veteran football team, and last season they were very disciplined. Some undisciplined play here in the first half. Leonard to throw. In trouble. Gets rid of the pass, and it's incomplete. Jeremiah Trotter, Jr., in the face of the quarterback. It was to be about a 53-yard field goal. We mentioned Polino made from 48 and warm-ups 48 last year, but they're going for it. They trust Riley Leonard with the ball in his hands, and he delivers. Complete first down. Caught by Calhoun. The passing third down at 10. Clemson going to bring pressure. Duke runs the ball, and the ball is fumbled, and it's recovered by Makuba. Jacquez Moore fumbles it. Clemson recovers. We'll take over with 10 seconds to go in the half. Fumble recovered by Clemson. And Mike Yoko, Kevin Johns, they go conservative. And we're just going to concede the field goal, get in the middle of the field, align their kicker as they hand the ball to Moore. Looks like Jeremiah Trotter gets that hand in there, punches the ball out. How about Andrew Makuba? Almost scooped and scored that football. It's an excellent job by Jeremiah Trotter Jr., who is all football all the time. That right hand punching that football loose in the second takeaway for this Clemson. Ball was out. It clearly was, as you saw live. So, 10 seconds to go. Shipley going to run it. Past the 45-yard line and to midfield. And now Clemson's going to call a timeout. Dabo Sweeney told us this week, even though he has a true freshman kicker in Robert Gunn, Clemson does have a timeout. Now, oh, Klubnik going to Go for the Hail Mary. And his pass is caught at the 35-yard line by Williams. And not sure what good that all served, but uh, that's the end of that. So all the things that made Duke successful last year, they failed at. Fix. Had a blocked field goal by Duke in the first half. And the Blue Devils will start this drive on their 25-yard line. And let's check in with Tom. Yeah, Dave, first of all, talking with Coach... Hired Garrett Riley for a reason. We'll see if uh, things change for Clemson offensively in the second half. But first, Duke football. Riley Leonard back to throw on first down. Stepping up to run. And again, makes the defender miss. Stepping out of bounds after he picks up the first down. He's done that... From the 39. Going to hand it off here. Waters looking for a hole, it's there. Crossing the 45, securing the ball as he gets drilled by Makuba and picks up 11, moving the chains. Love the patience. Thinking four down territory here if they don't pick this up. On third down and three, design run for Leonard, and he's able to break a tackle to get the first down and more. Leonard in 
outside the 20, stiff arms a defender inside the five and into the end zone. It's a touchdown. What a play by Riley Leonard. One of the best plays of week one. 44 yard scamper for a score. Wow, what a play by Riley Leonard. Baron Carter's untouched off the edge, can't get into the ground, lowers the shoulder, watch the speed in the open field as he hits the sidelines, does not step up, tight ropes the sidelines, and takes it to the house. What a start for the second half for Riley Leonard. Wow. You have the lead. We wondered how the Blue Devils would respond. After dominating most of the first half, yet trailing because of the turnovers and intermission. They respond with a big play from Leonard, a 44-yard touchdown run. Bicycle, he couldn't reach the pedals, so he stood on the seat, used the steering wheel, and was able to ride the bike around. Grandpa said, you know what? That kid's different. Not a tricycle, a bicycle at age two. Shipley, close to a first down. They go back to the ground game, and he's able to pick up 10. Shipley, two-back look again here, Tom. I think we're going to see a lot of that in the second half. And Moffa will get it here. Breaks free! Into Duke territory, inside the 40, the race is on, and they finally get to him inside the 20-yard line. Jeremiah Lewis saves a touchdown, but a huge gap between the tackles for Maffa. The interior of that offensive line, the center, Will put a great job getting up to the linebacker. Mark. Play action gets set up after this. Klubnik pulled that back, takes off inside the five, gets lit up at the one. It's a first down. It'll be first and goal from inside the one. Hops to his feet after the sandwich of Lewis and Stinson. Klubnik looks okay. It's a really good read there by Cade Klubnik. He sold it well, held that ball in the belly of the back for an extra beat, pulled it, and made a nice run. And now Shipley comes out of his stance, flags down. Looked like the right tackle, Blake Miller, moved as well. Miller, a true sophomore, 19-year-old, started every game last year as a true freshman. Call start. Offense number 78. Five-yard penalty. First down. They love Blake Miller. Strong, great length. Solely agree with you, Tom. First and goal from the six after the penalty. Plumnick again pulling it and running, and he stumbles and falls. Anthony Nelson, the defensive lineman, transferred from Harvard. In his second year at Duke, showing his intelligence there because he did not bite. Five-yard losses, one via penalty, that one via the sack. Second and goal. Klubnik in trouble from the pocket. His pass broken up. Brandon Johnson knocking it away from Antonio Williams. Big third down here for Clemson. Can they answer that Riley Leonard touchdown to start the second half? Quarterback draw, Klubnik inside the 10. Stepped up at the five-yard line. Jalen Stinson there first. Oh, Dabar, and they will hit you, too. 23-yard field goal try. 41-yard attempt, and the first half was blocked. His first career attempt, and this one's no good. Missed it wide to the left. That one may have been tipped as well at the line of scrimmage. Let's see if it was blocked or just yanked by true freshman Robert Gunn, who's 0 for 2, replacing the reliable B.T. Potter. Ball is a great equalizer, and we'll see in this true freshman play with his hair on fire. So third down and seven now after the three-yard gain. Had the drop on first down. Leonard back to throw. Leonard's pass incomplete. Going for Calhoun, had Makuba in coverage. And so a three and out for Duke. Now let's see if they can get him another one. Second down and three. In trouble. Pressure backside, but Klubnik escapes and slides. He began a slide at the 39, but that was still enough to move the chain. So first road start. It's different when you're the guy as opposed to coming off the bench. You wonder if he's just starting to settle in a little bit. Talked about the rhythm. He's starting to find it. Adam Randall on the catch. And a first down into Duke territory. From the Duke 44. Inside the 35 and all the way down to the 28 yard line, a 16 yard run as Shipley is right at the 100 yard mark now. Center guard 
I just, on cue, Will Putnam, excellent job position blocking that nose. 28, looking to regain the lead here, 6.15 to play. Putnam has a wide open man. Tyler Brown, the true freshman on the catch, inside the 10. The defender, he was in there replacing the injured Jalen Stinson. He was the guy that they targeted there, first and goal on the seven yard line. The ball's on the ground. Duke tried to pick it up. I think the Blue Devils got it anyway. They tried to pick it up and run with it, and now a fight for it under the pile. Between Klubnik and Shipley, and it looks like Duke has the ball. They do. Blue Devil football, they get a takeaway. Jeremiah Lewis, who's been all over the field, started his career at Duke, transferred to Northwestern, back to Duke, and making plays when they absolutely needed to have one. And that one might be on Kate Klubnick. That's the, the quarterback running back exchange. Klubnick tried to pull it. Shipley stayed on it. Bowles on the ground. And what a mistake by this Clemson offense. 86 yards, had the 44-yard touchdown run, and he's big and strong. He can. Run it for two, but he's going to throw it here to try to get two yards. And hesitated, and the pass knocked away. He was going for his tight end, Del Molin. R.J. Mickens with three picks. They started to run the football much more effectively, but to your point, we have not seen the quarterback-friendly offense. Bubnick's pass caught for a first down by Bo Collins. Wrestled down at the 41. They're moving the ball, though, here yeah. in the third quarter. They Dominic Thomas in there really haven't seen him much at running back. He's in there now for third down and one. They give it to Maffa and he gets the first down at 230. Able to muscle his way past the line to gain. How much trust we have. Freshman kicker. Klubnik will throw it. Long pass. Caught at the 15. Collins can't get away from Rivers, but. He's able to get 12 yards and move. Inside 10 seconds to go here. They do have to snap it before the end of the quarter. Klubnik in trouble. Getting out of there. Inside the 10. Runs out of bounds. And as a team, period, anywhere on the field in that quarter. Lean on that run game. They will with the big back mop up. Down to the one, dies for the end zone. They're going to mark him down just short, but it will be first and goal for Clemson. Looking to tie the game here. Nice job on that left side, helping pave a path for Phil Moffa. Moffa again. Second down and 11 after the five-yard penalty. Letter to throw. Pressure in his face, setting up a screen over the waters. He's got blockers inside the 25. Got a first down to the 22-yard line. Offensively for Clemson tonight, Duke 3 of 11 on third down in this game. Third and a long one. They're going to run it. And spinning away is more to get the first down. Inside the 10, it'll be first and goal for Duke. Another run play, Moore trying to get the edge. He's inside the five, turns it upfield, into the end zone. Touchdown, Duke. Outside run. Keep an eye at the bottom of your screen. Eight Jordan Moore does a very good job getting just enough to allow Jaquez Moore to get to the perimeter. Waters shifting into the backfield. Pass play. Leonard ends up. It's caught. Two points. Calhoun is in. 21-7 Devils. And put the ball in your quarterback's hands. Bloodneck will throw. 
Got a receiver. And Shipley makes a nice move. Picks up a first down and then out of bounds. Keep in mind, with the Mike Uncle said, we got to hire this guy. And Santucci has risen up the ranks to D coordinator. They couldn't come up with a stop there. First down pickup for Shipley, but have to get to the 44 of Duke with the clock moving eight and a half. Pressure off the edge. Klubnik. A drop right at the line to gain by Antonio Williams. That's a second drop we've seen by a Clemson receiver this half. Brandon Johnson in coverage. Fourth down, the Tigers will go for it. That ball has got to be caught. Antonio Williams, the best receiver on this team. Hits him in the hands. The coverage is good. The hand defender. They have to get to the 44-yard line of Duke. Fourth down and seven. Duke's going to rush four. Klubnik steps up. He's going to run for it. Crossing midfield. Slides. It's going to be close. He got hit, too, as he slid. And here comes a flag. Where he started his slide, he may not have had the first down. But because of the obvious penalty, Duke, who hit Klubnik while he was going down. And you got to find a way to lay off. That is tough on Cam Dillon. I mean, he's running full speed trying to get there. Quarterback slides. Might be targeting, but too. You've got to stay off, man. You've got to find a way to jump over that. As soon as he goes in that sliding motion. The ruling is the runner will short of the lot of the game. After the play, personal foul, targeting, defense, number 35. The ball will be turnover on downs. It'll be Duke's ball, first and 10. The previous play is under further review. The rule on the field of targeting is confirmed. It will be Duke's ball, first and 10, after we enforce the 15-yard penalty. And obviously brilliant as a runner with that 44-yard rushing score that was the go-ahead touchdown. He'll throw it here in third and long and try to set up a wide receiver screen. It's Redwell. Calhoun tackled by Trotter. And so Clemson will get it back of the line to gain. Third down, obviously four down territory. Ball on the Clemson 28. Pass. First down, Antonio Williams. Nice job on the slant. Bring press. This catch there in traffic by Antonio Williams. They got to start pushing the ball down the field. And again, losing about 15 seconds with the new rule of the clock not stopping until inside two minutes on first down. And passes intercepted off the deflection. Mausi picks it off and went off the hands of Shipley. And Duke will take over with five minutes interception. to go. Another Clemson mistake. That's what this has been about, an offense that there were so many high expectations with a new offensive coordinator, a new quarterback. But it's been a dud offensively for the Dukes just fought, battled, and in position to win this game. Riley Leonard, if you didn't know the name, you're going to be hearing it a lot for the rest of the season. Waters inside the 10. Waters making a house call with the exclamation point on this one. 36 yard touchdown. Rushing touchdowns last year. Duke with three rushing touchdowns tonight after a school record 31 a year ago. It's 28 to 7. Rip it open here in this game. You're going to see the center get out and go, and you're also going to see the backside tackle. Both pull, kick out, and get a couple of nice blocks to pave the path for Waters to take it to the house. Nice hesitation there through the hole. Good vision to find the open field. And the Duke Blue Devils putting it on Clemson to close this one out. Dusty, I'll tell you what, from field level, and go to Louisville. Had the benefit of an easier schedule last year, but that changes drastically here this season. Lovett's pass pulled in. Cole Turner fighting for the first down. Meanwhile, I hate to say it, if they can just clean up the mistakes, they'd probably be just fine, but they didn't. Here in the game, in the moment, they made the mistakes. Duke capitalized. Klubnik dumping it off to Shipley. Here's the other thing about Clemson. They, they have to find, again, it's week one. We don't want to overreact. Expectation coming in, but we really have seen no signs of that being a reality here tonight. Fourth and eight. Shipley can't hang out. It was knocked away. 
Al Blades Jr., the transfer from Miami, breaking up the pass. And Duke will take over on downs. Jock was more. First down and more inside the 40 before he's dragged out. Devils played tonight. One game at a time is what Mike Elko would say. Riley Leonard takes an knee. It's one of the biggest wins in Duke football history. Down goes Clemson. The Devils win it 28-7.